Hi guys, my name is Maria Park, and this is Approach to Nerd, and in this episode, we are reviewing the Yuri manga, Citrus. So Citrus is a long-running series. I believe it started in 2014. It had 10 volumes, which is the equivalent of 41 issues on a monthly basis released in magazines, um, and now I believe they're on Citrus Plus, which would be, at this point of the video, issue 7 just got released. So it's kind of a sequel, but kind of not. I don't want to give too much away. You'll see what I mean if you actually read it. Um, and there's also an anime that they've done that spans 12 episodes for season one, and I'm pretty sure it got green-lighted for season two, which may be out next year, but I'd have to check on that. The premise of the show basically is a girl named Yuzu. Her mother gets remarried. They're from the city, and they marry into a family that runs an academy, and it's an all-girls conservative school. So their last name is now Ihara. Yuzu, which um, is a city girl, she meets her new stepsister, May, who is also the student body president of their school. She's very dedicated to her, her role as student president because her family pretty much runs the school. Her grandfather's a chairman. Um, for a while, her father, who was a teacher in the school, was supposed to be the successor, become the chairman. Um, he decides he's going to up and leave and travel the world because he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> so all of the responsibility falls on May, who is pretty much the next one in line. Um, so she's still young. I think they're 17 at this point. But she is very, very serious. But she's also very cold. And she has this very odd habit of whenever she wants Yuzu to do something for her, because the two girls now live together since their parents are married, and they share a bed and a room. Um, she seduces um, Yuzu whenever she wants something from her or basically wants her to, to shut up. <laughs> and it's very interesting. As a matter of fact, Yuzu's very first kiss was May. <laughs> um, but the relationship did not start off romantically. As a matter of fact, Yuzu thought that May was stuck up, very cold, you know, because Yuzu's pretty much the opposite of May. She's very outgoing. She has no filter. She sometimes says things she shouldn't say. Um, she's not really stupid because in the series she actually has been shown to be to be able to do very well on tests if she applies herself. But you know she likes to go out and put on makeup and try on clothes and and things like that. And she meets a girl named Harumi who becomes her best friend because they're very very similar. Um, Harumi does the same thing. She sneaks her phone in to school. They both go out after her and Yuzu go out and do karaoke and go shopping. Sometimes even in their school uniforms. Um, Yuzu will modify her school uniform, which Harumi does not do, and that's probably because her older sister used to be the student council president. So <laughs> she's terrified of her, so she doesn't do that. But she does have a wild side. They are, they are basically kindred spirits. And when people were reading, um, first reading Citrus, a lot of people wanted Harumi and Yuzu to be a couple. But, of course, opposites attract. Um, we also meet... Himiko, who is the best friend or childhood friend of May, who is absolutely crazy and is in love with May and is not above doing dirty ta or having dirty tackets and volatile, you know, things to get Yuzu to stay away from May. <laughs> so there, that entire relationship is interesting. Um, it does get it more interesting and better in the manga, but if you watch her just in the anime, she's a little crazy. Um, and then there's Matsuri, who is equally as nuts. She is the childhood friend of Yuzu and who used to consider herself to be her younger sister. Um, they lived houses apart and um, like May, Matsuri is also very lonely because her parents don't pay attention to her. So she does all kinds of stuff. Like she sells like fake porn on or like like crazy stuff to old men for money and she just says it's her but like none of the things that she sends picture wise or videos are her but that's how she makes money so she has a very interesting personality she's also the one character that has gotten May to admit that she has romantic feelings for Yuzu because she got super jealous when Matsuru, Matsuri came and was all over Yuzu so she even though May was feeling these feelings she didn't start really comprehending that she liked Yuzu back until Matsuri showed up. Um, Yuzu was a lot faster. Um, after the first kiss she got really confused. 
she started reading Yuri manga and she was like, I think I'm into this girl. I thought I only liked guys. I thought I only wanted a boyfriend, but now I, I want May. But she's conflicted because she knows that May has also had a very lonely life. So she's like, I know you need a family, but I also want you. So <laughs> I want to be your sister, your older sister, because I think they're a few months apart. Um, but I also want to be your girlfriend. So it's like she had this whole internal struggle and May was completely non-receptive because she's so, she lives in her head. It's almost like an extrovert introvert relationship trying to clash. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of things happen that I don't want to spoil that become very, it becomes apparent that May is just as into Yuzu as Yuzu is into May. And then there's a lot of outside factors threatening to break them up. And yeah, I'll just leave it at that. But it is a very, very good series. I suggest you pick it up. I will link below where you can purchase it. Um, I know it was licensed for the States, so I don't think that there are any scans online anymore. Um, I know there are YouTube videos on the issues or volumes. You can check those out. But I would definitely give it a, a shot because it is a very good series. One of my personal faves. If you do decide to read the series, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to know. And if you'd like to be signed up for Jury Duty, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to know who's next on the Nerd Ballot, hit the notification bell. Until next time, I can't wait for you to approach the nerd. Bye, guys. And if you have time, make sure to check out some of our other videos.